Do y'all see this, man? Yesterday we had a freaking blizzard. Today it's 50 degrees. I spent all my money here. All right, so I just picked up some paperwork I needed. Now we gotta pick up a few. Um, this place is confusing now. I don't know if you guys have seen it yet. Since they like renovated. All of this is freaking fishing stuff and it just goes on and on. From my understanding, Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's like merged so that there's like super fishing stuff here. 50% off all rooster tails. I'm picking up a few right there. 199 Booyah spinner baits. All right, no joke, I just spent like an hour in here. Now, this is not any Cabela's promotion, this isn't like sponsored or anything, but these freaking Booyah spinnerbaits right here, these are usually like six, seven dollars, two freaking dollars right now. And you guys see me use these rooster tail spinners for just about everything. I mean, I catch snake heads on them, trout season's coming up. These are half price right now. These are usually like four-ish dollars or like two-ish right now, so I snag probably a lot more stuff than I should have. This was supposed to be a quick stop, but uh... All right, we're beginning the quest to the fishing spot. It's funny because last time I came here, it was, I don't even know, it wasn't snowy or really wet like this. And I literally fell like two or three times trying to get to the spot, so. All right, I'm lost. We got some tracks here, boys. Oh my gosh, if only you guys knew what I had to just go through to get to this spot. You guys have seen me fish here before. This is never underwater. I mean, this is usually a really dry bank that slopes down. And I mean, you guys can just see it just goes back. This is just a freaking swamp. I'm surprised I didn't find Shrek back there. Just literally, completely flooded. Alright, so this is going to be interesting. I forgot there was just a blizzard and now it's warm. So all the snow melted. Shout out to waterproof boots. Ugh. So yeah, for the most part, I think we're going to be good. It might be a little bit hard to catch fish because of just murky water and a lot of water. Man, does it feel good to be in this warm. It is about time for winter to get get the heck out of here, man. I got some ice fishing in, didn't really have too much success, but it just, just, just go. Bring in the trout season, bring in the warmer weather. All right, let me get over here. Let's start getting our lines wet. This is what I'm gonna be throwing first. Wow, the wind is making it. You guys can't even see that. Don't know exactly what size it is, but this thing in the water has a perfect little bait fish slash minnow imitation. There we go, heavy enough to actually throw out there. All right, all right, let's see how these flooded conditions actually, you know, affect the fishing. I was like, sure, the water, you know, it's gonna be moving pretty fast-ish, but I, I had no freaking clue there was gonna be anything like this, man. This is, uh, it's a bit concerning. I don't know, I think we've put the time in here. We should be able to uh, hopefully come up with something. I brought like my whole entire arsenal out here too. So we got options. All right, I've been throwing this small little white jig under a bobber. Dude, I, I don't know, I gotta go to plan C. Plan C originally was not even in the plans. This whole, I mean, this flood wasn't even in the plans, but we're gonna switch over. I'm actually really happy about all these inline spinners. So we're gonna break out this little discounted rooster tail right here. Now I heard, I think that gold is like the move in uh, like murkier water. Or maybe that's cloudy days. I don't, I don't even know, man. I remember one rod saying something like that. Oh, yeah, this water's cold. Just got my freaking boot. Whew. All right, so fun fact, actually, this spot that I'm fishing right now, during the summer, I don't know if you guys see it or not, I actually filmed a video here where I caught a snakehead and I took it home, did a little catch and cook. Dude, that, that video was so much fun to make. I was throwing one of these inline spinners around like forever, finally freaking hit. I remember that day was a really good multi-species day for uh, inline spinner. That's a fish. Oh my God, I thought I was stuck. Dude, let's freaking go. Okay, first fish of the day, y'all. Oh, that is a freaking cold bass. All right, my whole day just got made right there. He's a plump little, or she, dude, plump little. Oh my gosh, all right, let me get this out before I get freaking stabbed on the freaking inline spinner. Dude, I thought that was another stick. You guys didn't see it, but pretty much I was like, oh, there's a fish, and then it was a stick. And it kind of happened again. I didn't say it out loud, but it was a, uh, it was a leaf that time. So two, you know, super surprise catches, but dude, Look at that, man. Uh, thank you so much for biting, buddy. My hand is literally freezing off. Ow. There it goes. That is freaking awesome, dude. All right. Now, that is not, uh, you know, the species I, I was specifically after, but I'll take it on the inline spinner. I'm telling you, I have so much confidence throwing this bait. You know, I'm pretty much a seasoned veteran out here. Just catch your sticks, leaves. And now, you know, just giant state record pigs I'm coming for the major leagues. What I've been doing pretty much just take this, cast it out there. Let it sink to the bottom. Once I think, you know, it's around that bottom area, I just kind of give it a little one of these. That just gets, you know, the motion of the bait going. I mean, if you guys use inline spinners, you guys probably do this too. It's like, you know, just a little something to get the blades going. And this is pretty much it. Just slow retrieve back to myself. I'm actually really surprised that a bass hit first though. Out of anything like uh, yellow perch, crappy, pickerel. I don't know, I'm just surprised, man. That's freaking awesome though. To me, I mean, the exciting thing about these kind of spots is just like, you never know what the heck you're gonna catch, you know? That could have been, I mean, that could have been anything, that bass I just pulled up. 
It's a little baby right here. Or I'm wearing a mouse today. This spring slash summer slash, you know, fall-ish time, I think I'm really gonna focus on getting out more in my kayak. I have a bunch of freaking kayak spots, but I just, you know, I really never had a vehicle that was kayak capable. I mean, my old car, you guys saw it, a Chevy Impala, it was old. It was on its last leg and that thing could barely drive itself you know i tried to put the kayak on the roof one time with this kit that i bought from amazon but that almost yeah i was on the highway with my arm out of the window i didn't even want to go on the highway freaking google maps okay what is this there's another leaf this is a fish oh yeah nice thick stick i'm just so excited man are you guys excited for warm weather trout season pre-spawn bass hopefully there's going to be some good fish running through uh the salt water around these parts okay all right oh uh, no oh there we go Whew. got my Spinner stuck in some. Oh, yeah. Spinner's having a heck of a time here today. Bro, I'm feeling like the Almighty out here. Somebody left this little dude on the ground right here. It's a little white fluke. And then over here, man, spotted this guy a little bit earlier. Oh, what do we have here? Somebody just, I, I don't know. They left their little, uh, I don't know, some kind of Shakespeare reel. Possible murder weapon? I don't know. You tell me. All right, we're going to be making a move here. We're going to make a, a quick audible. I'm going to chill with this spot for now. Dude, I have no freaking clue how I got here. Oh, yeah. Those are thorns. I'm actually going to be keeping a lookout, too. I saw a lot of deer tracks earlier. I know my girlfriend's family is kind of, you know, like obsessed with hunting. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, I just got water all on my foot. Jeez. But yeah, they're big hunters, especially her brothers. And they always go out at this time of the year, you know, looking for sheds. Whew, so that'd be pretty cool if on the way back I could find one, you know? Ah. Uh. It is a sad day, man. All right, y'all, we came out here to another pond. We're about to full send it, man. This water is super, super clear. And uh, yeah, as I said, we're gonna be freaking sending it. Hopefully get some big fish. I know there's giant fish in here, man. I'm talking about six, seven, eight pounders. Here actually is what I'm gonna be throwing first. This is just like little, uh, I guess a little sunfish imitation. This was actually sent to me by Kendall Gray. That was a long time ago. Yo, shout out Gray Gang. So hopefully I'm gonna drag this little sunfish right in front of one of their faces. And it's gonna be a 10 pounder. So it is the next day, and yesterday I know I was just talking about it. Today we are doing it. This kayak has actually been sitting at my parents' house in Newark. I finally brought it here to Dover last night. And yeah, this little guy right here is a beauty. This is legit budget kayak fishing. This thing, I bought it years ago, maybe like four or five years ago for like $240, I think. I don't know. I remember I got it at Cabela's again. It's not sponsored by Cabela's. I'm not even joking. I spent all my money there. But yeah, literally it's just nothing special. Just an eight-foot kayak. I have this as my PFD as well as their scupper holes, so don't want my butt getting wet. I can either put it on top, which I really should be doing but it actually just fit right in the back right here for now so i mean i guess that's good i'm just kind of nervous to put it on the top because i feel like what happens you know if i don't put it the right way i don't know i want to get somebody to show me how to do it first Ooh, all right guys this is my first time going kayaking by myself in a long long time there's actually somebody else parked here i see them out on their boat oh man this is gonna be crazy i can assure you guys i've never kayak fished in february before and of course i forgot something all right so first things first i'm gonna head over here i actually read online that this is a really really shallow lake i think the deepest it gets is six feet and i don't know if you guys can see it or not there's a little stick right here it's like a little pole in the water i'm pretty sure that that marks a uh, bunch of logs or something well that did not exactly work out the way i was thinking it was going to i i think i got out here at like 11 a.m right now it is 3 12. even the spots that it produced before you guys have seen me fish this pond before for crappy but even those spots like from the kayak i was hitting the same exact spots and there was just no fish there there's some really good structure i was fishing but it, i i don't know next time i come out here i think i think i'm gonna i think i'm gonna get on them. i got a good feeling man i'm not discouraged i mean i'm not the best kayak fisherman but yeah it sucks man i was planning on doing something really cool if we caught some crappy but All right, y'all, it's now the next day yet again. This is like day number three. Pretty much yesterday, I just ended up getting a good workout. You know, did a lot of paddling, not much catching. Today, hopefully, we're gonna change that. Things have been kind of tough here, you know, in the middle slash like late-ish end of February. It's not been the easiest to catch fish. So today, I have one goal in mind. Hopefully, we can, you know, kind of dump things down a little bit. As I said, it's like the third day in a row. I actually just got back from New Jersey. We were there for my friend's birthday last night. Now it is time to get back to the grind. Hopefully, 
He cares a freaking fish. And of course it is starting to rain. So let's, ah, let's get out there, man. All right, so today this is going to be the secret weapon of breaking the sky over here. Again, don't mind the, uh, yeah, I actually have some of these guys left from ice fishing. Just some little mealworms. I'm pretty sure they're still alive-ish. I have a very small little ice fishing jig on here. This is pretty much what we're working with. I really, really, really want to catch a fish on this rod. I know I said that in a couple previous videos, even on the kayak yesterday, I was like, yo, let me see if I catch a fish with it. Just going to throw this down right there. Pretty much, I mean, we could just fish this like we're actually ice fishing too. I'll hold it, you know, like a little professional here. Come on, man, please, let's get something here. There's gotta be some fish in this spillway, right? Now, all jokes aside though, you guys do gotta admit, who do you know that is as good at not catching fish as me? It's funny too, because there's another guy kind of like to my left. And I know he's looking at me like, what in the heck? Yo, do any of you guys remember? I actually came here, I think it was in the summer of this year, maybe? I was actually fishing out here and I hooked into a giant snapping turtle. Bro, you gotta tell me there's no fish out here? What is going on, my guy? Look at that, look at that, it's getting bit. Oh, come on. Yo, we finally found some fish. Oh my god, dude, it is raining. Oh, I just wanna know what this is, man. Just keep nipping at it. Oh god. Come on, please come back for it. Oh, come on. Dude, how could, this, what? I'm just so happy to get a bite. Like, I don't even care, but still. Come on, take that thing down. Oh, let's go, fish on. Oh, dude, that's a nice one too. Let's freaking go, get up here, buddy. That just made my whole freaking day right there. Oh my gosh, you do not know how long I've been standing out here in this freezing cold rain. Finally, let me get him over here, man. I <laughs> got something. Let's go, man. Beautiful colors on this guy. We're actually gonna take this home to do a little catch and cook. Oh my gosh, that feels good. Thick little guy too. All right, let's see if we get any more here. Dude, why did that take so long to find the fish? And why are they over there on that side? So many questions. Finally caught something on this rod too, man. How many videos now have I been like, yo, I wanna catch something on that ice rod? All right, let's see if anything else is down there. Oh, getting bit. Oh, let's go. Let's go, dude. <laughs> on the ice rod. Oh yeah. We got him now, guys. The bluegill buffet is in full effect. Oh my god. Oh. Second fish of the day, that guy is a little tinier. Nice stripes, though. Let that guy go. A fish is a fish, man. That, that, that's all I gotta say about this whole experience so far. There you go, I'm getting bit right away. Oh, dude, that's a better fish. Oh my gosh, that's a nice freaking gill. Come here, boy. It's that FSF lifestyle, yo. We get hyped over bluegill. I'm telling you guys, though, man. You guys can understand what I've been through. I mean, you guys have seen it. <sighs> it just feels so good to be getting some fish. That was a nice thick one right there too. Think about wrapping this up pretty soonish because I only brought one outfit. That was for last night. As I said, I went to my friends, you know, we had like a little get together in New Jersey for her birthday. And so yeah, I actually have a lot of stuff to do tonight. And this is my only set of clothes and I am getting completely soaked. I'm gonna try to get a hook set, like an ice fisher in here. There's a bite, there's a bite. Come on, take it. It's definitely a lot more like timid to scare the crap out of him. Oh, there he is. Okay, okay. See, I, I can't like express this enough, guys. This, this is why. Ow. This is why perseverance is key in fishing, especially. Look at the colors in that guy right there, man. We let him go, but especially in the winter, dude. Oh, it's just so easy to like give up, you know. But when you finally find some fish, it's just like the best feeling in the world, you know. All right, I'm not gonna bore you guys anymore. Let that guy go. I'm gonna catch a few more of these guys off camera. And then, yeah, man, we're about to do something that's gonna change the game. In these last remaining minutes, let me just unleash my wrath on these bluegill. Oh, that's not a bluegill. What the heck is that? Is that a golden shiner, dude? What the heck? Second species of the day. Is, is that a golden shiner? Pretty sure. That is a thick. What the heck? That is cool, man. I did not even know that these were in there. I'm just gonna be really quickly about this because these dudes, uh, they, you know, die really easy out of the water. Look, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <laughs> what in the world? I hope you guys saw it, man. That golden shiner was very, very golden. <sighs> As I said, I'm gonna cast this thing around a little bit longer. Now I, now I can't leave, man. So I just stopped at the store. We actually took one of the fish home that we caught at the little place here today. And we are gonna be changing the game up once again, man. I picked up my ingredients. Yeah, man, I'm hoping this is gonna be good. Let's get back to the house. Let's get this started here. All right, back at my old house, guys. This is where I used to make a lot of my videos. Made a lot of catch and cooks at this very stove right here. It's just like, it, it feels weird being back, you know? Lots of memories there, lots of fun videos filmed here. Yeah, uh, let me show you guys the little secret ingredient here for the day. 
These, I don't know if you guys know what these are or not. This is what we picked up here from the store, man. These are Takis. These are actually mini Takis. If you guys are familiar with Takis, they're actually a pretty popular snack. Hot chili pepper and lime tortilla chips. Also, as you can see right there, Takis Fuego. These things are pretty freaking spicy. They get put a lot in the, you know, the conversation with Hot Cheetos. And if you guys remember, a little bit ago, I actually did a Hot Cheetos catch and cook. Literally, we caught a trout, breaded it in Hot Cheetos, and that was one of the best catch and cooks we've ever done, man. That was... It's freaking changing the game. Takis catch and cook, man. This is, this is gonna be freaking bomb. All right, so pretty much this is the range of bluegill. I kind of just cut all the meat up into little chunks, as you guys can see right there. So if you guys don't know, you know, if you're still curious, what are Takis? This is kind of what they look like right here. There's a lot of flavor. Ooh. Yep, yep. All right, so here are the Takis. Now we got some little egg batter and flour, man. You, you guys already know what's going on here. All right, so this is what we got going on here. Basically, I just got these guys, you know, in the egg wash, then in the flour, then back in the egg wash, then in the crushed up Takis. Tell me that is not looking freaking bomb, dude. So yeah, these guys right now are ready to go in our pan right over here, man. This oil should be hot. Takis, catch and cook. Low key, I don't know if anybody can fact check this, but I think that is like the first time I cooked with oil and it did not like freaking explode. Whew. All right, but we're just gonna let this guy, you know, cook up a little bit. It's smelling pretty good already. I don't think I had the oil like hot enough, but it's gonna be all right. Yeah. Oh my gosh, yo. Chef First State is not playing any games out here. 2019, oh, that's kind of hot, man. Whew, look at that presentation we got. We got the fine china. This is this is going to be like an old-fashioned catch code we used to do here on the channel. All right, let me get some of this crap out of the way here. The hot Cheetos trout. That was that was something else, man. That was definitely... I don't even know how to explain it. That whole catch code was freaking amazing. But I have a good feeling about this, man. So this is bluegill that we just caught. It took us... I don't really know how to explain, like, the smell. When I was cooking it, it, it smelled like no joke. It smelled like popcorn. <sighs> All right, so hopefully it still got some spice to it. Hopefully, I mean, hopefully this is good, man. Let's give it a shot here. This is, dude, this is, uh, you guys have to try this, man. Imagine, too, this is all one bluegill right here. Imagine three, four bluegill, and you fill up this whole plate. How do I describe it, man? I feel like there's so many, like, catch and on the internet, and everybody just, you know, says the same stuff. Not saying, like, it's, like, five-star restaurant status, but you know what I mean? Like, compared to normal bluegill, this is freaking amazing, dude. You, you could have this, I mean, you could throw a little party. You know, have yourself a little bluegill buffet. Takis fish nuggets. Crispy, crunchy. Oh, God. These things are freaking bomb, dude. The one thing I have to say, though, these by themselves... Like when you eat them, it's just a freaking, you know, like an explosion of flavor. It's like salty, spicy, like tangy. You get some of that, you know, lime, the chili. With the fish, I mean, you still get the flavor. You still get the little bit of spiciness, but it's just, you know, kind of dimmed down a little bit. But I think that, you know, it complements the fish perfectly. You don't want, you know, like crazy flavor on the fish. You want to be able to taste the fish as well. So this, I think I cooked it perfectly, man. Crispy, it's, it's delicious, honestly. Still got the flavor on it too, like... No joke, this is like really good. This was definitely like, it was a lengthy episode. I don't know how long it's gonna be when I finally finish editing it. But yeah, man, this whole, I mean, <sighs> it was definitely a struggle, man. We're still catching fish though. That is like the important thing. Late-ish February, I mean, what? Two or, I think three different species in this video? Bass, bluegill, and you know, that surprise catch at the end there, that little golden shiner. That was actually a big golden shiner. I was surprised. I don't know if you guys, dude, I wanted to show you guys so bad the beautiful colors on it. It was like so golden. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much gonna do it here for this video today. Yeah, thank you so much for all the support. If you guys did enjoy it, and for all my, you know, time and effort out there, I really would appreciate a thumbs up on this video. And if you guys do enjoy my videos, and if you are not already, make sure to go down there, hit that subscribe button. And also, if you never want to miss an upload from me, go down there, hit that notification bell. And sometimes notifications on YouTube and just YouTube in general don't always work. So if you want to stay up to date with me, go down there, follow me on Instagram. Trying to post as many stories as I can, and every time I upload a video, I post a story. Whew. All right, so yeah, man, that is pretty much, I mean, that's gonna do it here for this video today. I am like freaking starving, man. I'm about to demolish these. I'm sure you guys don't wanna sit here and watch me eat these. I mean, for the one person who probably does, that bite is for you, buddy. Yeah, man, that's pretty much gonna do it here for this video today. Thank you guys so much again for all the support. New content is gonna be coming out very shortly. I appreciate all the feedback on my last video, you know, that question I asked. I'm trying my best to find a balance, you know. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go watch that video if you wanna know. Thank you again for all the support. All I gotta say is let's keep this rolling, man. Thank you guys for watching. See you next video.